Hi, I'm Bridget, and here's a look at some stars making news today on CelebrityWeek.com. Nick Carter is continuing his public attack on Paris Hilton, now saying she's addicted to marijuana. Remember earlier this month, Paris was at a fashion show seen digging in her purse with a bag of what looked like marijuana in plain view, even though her publicist is sticking with the story that it was just tobacco? Nick said when they were dating that Paris relied on drugs and drinking to give her confidence, and there's too many times to count that she would pass out on the floor and he'd have to drag her to bed. Note that he said he dragged her, not carried her. Guess he's not very strong. Hey, maybe that's where all the bruises came from. He also said she'd stuff her teddy bear with marijuana when she would travel. There goes that secret hiding place. And meanwhile, no one wants to date Nick Carter anymore, knowing that when things go bad, he'll tell all your deepest, darkest secrets to anyone that'll listen. Madonna's attempt at an African adoption is getting ugly. Last week, Madonna and her husband Guy Ritchie were granted an interim adoption of David Bonda, a one-year-old boy who was in an orphanage in Malawi, and he's in London with her now. Now the father of the baby is saying that he misunderstood what adoption meant, and the truth wasn't explained to him. He says he had no clue that adoption meant he was sending his son away for good. He thought the agreement between him and Madonna was that Madonna would take care of him while he got educated and independent. Then the boy would come back to his father. The man can't read or write and says the adoption was never really explained to him. Now that he does know what it means, he said he'd rather have his baby grow up in the orphanage, where at least he can visit him. A human rights group in Malawi has said Madonna didn't follow proper adoption procedures from the beginning, and they're calling for the entire thing to be canceled. But now Madonna and Guy already have the baby, and he's getting settled in in their home. How hard would it be to take him back to live in an orphanage at this point? Fergie loves her dogs. Her boyfriend, Josh Jahamel, says once when Fergie returned home from a trip to Europe, she spent 30 minutes howling with the dogs on the front porch. It was a bonding thing. Soon a police officer showed up and started stealthily approaching the house with a shotgun, responding to a neighbor's call that someone was being attacked. More likely, they just couldn't stand the sound of the dogs howling combined with Fergie's howling anymore. Josh, her boyfriend, describes Fergie's howling as, quote, like singing really high, really, really high. Not what I look for in a neighbor. Thanks for watching. I'm Bridget, and I'll see you here next time on CelebrityWeek.com.